Everybody y'all tuned in to Lenny TV and D Hot Seat. I'm Lenny Williams. I'm the boy Oz and we got Vo with it, man. Bravo Williams yeah, in the building. Rock, man. Bo I got no rap, man. <laughs> <laughs> me too. You mean? Yeah, I got my son in the building and all that. You feel me? Yeah, congratulations <laughs> on that, by the way, man. Good. How you feeling? It feel good. I was uh, a little nervous at first. I'm good. He coming too much. Yeah, congratulations on that, dude. <coughs> so, like, tell the like, what you been up to lately. Like, you just dropped the tape. That thing is buzzing right now. I see yeah. a lot of people on Snapchat with it, Instagram with it, you know. So, like... How's that feeling right now? I know that buzz is really popping. Yeah, I just dropped a tape called Cuffing Season. It's a storyline from basically me not cuffing to me cuffing. Every song, I'm getting more and more to my cuffing bag, you know what I mean? But yeah, just dropped a tape. Me and bro, me and Mooch, we about to drop a tape. Or an EP called uh, SoundCloud Boys Volume 1. Bunch of videos for the tape coming soon. At the moment, coming first. And then, probably kicked up. Those are the two that got the best um, feedback. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to go from there. Yeah, because the thing about At The Moment was the song before that, like the little skip or whatever, yeah. was talking about, like you had your man's already talking about, hey, Vo, like, we like it, but we <laughs> get you back on that hard shit. That yeah. it was At The Moment. Yeah. It was like, damn, that's, that was, it was hard. That was, um, he went first, Moots went first. Okay. And then I had my little bro, BS Free Home. He just got booked. He's going to be in there for like three to five. And then that was, um, who was it? Tell me. Okay. Yeah, and they basically just saying the tape cool, but we need some hard shit. That's why I called it back to the basics, cause that's what I get into. That's you mean that's me for real. Right. So you mean, but yeah, I'm back to that though. Ain't I'm cool. I just did seven cuffing tracks. I'm cool. All right. So now we can expect more hard shots to come. Yeah, up. I'm really about to get back in my rapping bag. Like, how long does it uh, take you to come up with the song? Like the uh, you know complete it? Does it take you a couple months? Uh, um, a couple days. A lot I've been asking days. for it for a while. <clears throat> yeah, people been asking me for a tape since I was in tenth grade when I first started rapping. Right. Honestly, but honestly, it depends on what the song is, what it's about, mm -hmm. the beat. If the beat crazy, I can get that joint done in a day. Or like, if it's something that I really want to sit down and think through, and the concept, like a song like Gravity. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all heard it, but I got right. a song called Gravity. I really sat down and had to think about what I really wanted to say on that joint. You mean that part took what like two three weeks and i got some songs that done took six months to a year just right. on some i'm writing so many songs i forgot about something mm -hmm. on that type of time so it depends so being that you always write a lot do you have trouble putting it into the like onto the track since you have so much like does it ever just become like too much like, yeah writer's right? block i get that yeah. all the time <laughs> basically every time i write i get writer's block because i be needing some inspiration or like I mean, or say like, I ain't been making no moves or something. I'm in the crib or with the gang every day. We run away doing the same shit. I need something new, like, to think about, to talk about, stuff like that. All right. So, <coughs> I want to get back to the tape just for a second. For um the opening track, Cuffing Season. Like, where did that come from? Because when I first heard that, and a lot of people, that one caught a lot of tracks out real fast. So where did that one come from? Actually, Cuffing Season, that's, uh, that's two years old. Right. But that was basically that was basically me explaining how like I might I might fuck with you but I ain't cuffing you. Okay. And that's the intro of the tape because I'm not cuffing around that time. You mean that's the intro. So I'm like, I ain't messing with no females, I ain't I don't trust nobody that type of time. And then I'm explaining why. Then you mean I get to cuffing. But yeah, that song that that took me a minute to write too. Right. And that was on some just writing other stuff, bullshit and whatever, but yeah, that's how that came about, though. So the project's leave like a timeline, basically. Yeah, okay. yeah, basically, that's all it is. And the first song, I explained it. Right before cuffing season come on, I got skipped, and that explained it. Mm. And basically, the girl was asking me why I'm dropping a tape called cuffing season in the springtime. You mean, because it's mm. not wintertime. Cuffing season is wintertime. And I basically told her, I'm explaining what happened in the winter. That's why I was just now coming up. Okay. Yeah, so after everything went on, I wrote about it. You know what I mean? So that's that's what really took my tape so long. I just I ain't wanna just make a bunch of songs and bomb up. You know what I mean? So I wait, let some stuff let life happen to me a little bit and then I wrote what happened. Alright, that's all. You said that you um started rapping in tenth grade? Yeah, probably around yeah, tenth tenth grade, that's when we really started taking it serious. But my first song that I made, um, was with Timmy. I was I was a young boy. We isn't probably like 
probably like fifth, sixth grade, playing though on the on the uh, on the flip phone. Mm -hmm. He was making, um, he was recording or whatever. But yeah, okay, so Wayne Wiz just playing though. Okay, so in tenth grade, what year was that? Um, that's three years ago. So. 2014. Okay. Now, what inspired you? Like, what started that ignition? Ignition? Like, hey, I'm gonna start rapping now. But that's um, somebody. Tell me. And my yeah. brother. Okay. My brother, he started rapping. And well, he been he been rapping. Matter of fact, he been producing since he was in high school. Okay. He five years older than me. So he started rapping or whatever. And um, me and Timmy, we just see what's going on. Timmy been rapping since he was a young boy. So and I mean, that's my cousin. I've been around him all my life. Mm -hmm. So I just started picking it up. I started playing with it. And I picked up a book, and ever since then, I ain't never put it down. I just kept going. And now you're there. Hey. So, you talked about not just wanting to put anything out. So, like, do you really take your time to put a lot of quality? Like, do you value the quality of music, or do you just, like, want to put songs out? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't really with um, dropping songs for nothing. Especially, and we be talking about it all the time, we in Delaware, like, people... You gotta, you gotta give them something to wanna hear. Right. It's not about how much you throw out, it's about what you throwing out. I could throw out one song and it buzzed for five years. And sure. I buzzed just off that. It's a lot of people's songs, I don't even know it's just one song. You mean? But that's the thing about that too, you gotta be consistent. I ain't about to just throw out anything. You mean, you gotta, and especially planning is, in, is important. And we talk about that all the time. You gotta plan what you trying to do, you just can't be doing. I mean, I don't, I don't like going off of, all right, I did this, now let me do that, now let me do that. I'd rather sit down and say, all right, when, on this date, I'm going to do this. On this date, I'm going to do this. And that's what we're doing. We're playing everything out. You got some new music coming up? Yeah, um, me and bro, we right, got right. two coming. Some, uh, SoundCloud Volume 1, SoundCloud Blue Volume 1. And then um, I got a couple tracks on my way to videos, all that. We just working. We got videos, game by and all, all game, all game dropping, uh, dropping tapes this year too. Everybody in the game dropping tapes this year too. That's what's up. So everybody got working. Yeah, everybody working. Everybody working. Would you be willing to sign to a label? Um, it depends on what they talking. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm with game. I ain't about to do that. I ain't leaving nobody. <laughs> you mean I ain't? I ain't gonna sign no deal unless I could put everybody in the position that they need to be in, and I could be myself, and I could still have this on me. I can still have, you mean, clubhouse, all that. I can still rep my game, rep my, you mean, rep what we represent, and all that. I don't, I'm, I'm really cool off that. Even if that was to, um, if I ever got that opportunity presented to me, and they really gotta be talking the right amount of money. Money talks. Cause I ain't, I ain't, I ain't trying to be the only one up. And niggas don't understand. It's hard to everybody on flights, everybody on tour. You the only nigga with money. You gotta think, you gotta take that into consideration. Cause sometimes niggas don't even be leaving their niggas, they just really can't do it. If everybody not get into a bag, it's hard for everybody to move together. Right. You mean? One so, rich, it's like one rich dude can't take care of everybody. Yeah, you know? honestly, I'd rather, I'd rather us, we got Clubhouse, that's basically a label itself. And it's different branches, we got Clubhouse, we got LIML, we got Foreign Boys, and we got Wavy God Game. And that's just everybody, that's everybody game, but we all represent different things and we bring it together. That's why it's called a clubhouse. But yeah, I'd rather us get it ourselves and split the money between all of us. And the reason you're like that is because the people that's in here today, these are your day one. Yeah, and I'd rather split it with them than mm -hmm. anybody else. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, unless it's a new manager or something, and I'm, I'm willing, I'm open to do that because sometimes they put you in better positions. But other than that, I'm, I'm I'm for gang. I ain't I ain't really with making labels, all this bread, and I'm the only one up. Mm -hmm. And then I'm on my ass trying to feed them niggas on that type time. But we all gonna get to a bad game. They like that. We, we all gonna get that shit. Right. That's some real thorough shit. Yeah, you know I mean, most y'all get by like that no more. <laughs> you talking about that's some real thorough shit. But, um, so like, <laughs> these are your day ones, like, yeah. like. So these are like your brothers. Yeah, blood brothers. That's why we call it a lot of mother. And this one, this one, new shit. This one, wolf. I never say a lot of loyalty is my lifestyle. And that's a wolf because they the loyalest animals there is. They travel in packs. And that's who we is. You mean nobody leave nobody. We all on the same type of time. We all on the same page. And that's how we rap. So when it comes to the um, industry, the music industry, who do you pay attention to business wise? Um, who really? Mm -hmm. I all I do is watch interviews. And my girl can tell you that I watch interviews all day. We on FaceTime. She like, yo, how you mean? That's all I do. I watch interviews because it's a lot of wisdom in this joint. The people that made it, 
They telling you what they did. They telling you about their life. They telling you what they went through to get where they at. They rich niggas, so why wouldn't I look up to them? They got all the bread. They made the right steps in life. You mean? And it, all you gotta do is just be on your dean. Do what you need to do. Make the right moves. But I like, I watch who? I watch Meek a lot. Mm -hmm. Drake, he really get it bad. I watch, and I and I like to watch the people and the, the people that they call bubblegum rappers and they blow up off the internet and shit like that. Mm -hmm. That all the like um, image, the way you sound, what you stand for, all that shit really matter. Cause all of, all of them, they all fit in the same category, but they all got their little wave to why people mess with them. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think we stand out cause we, we not like everybody else. You mean we stand for what we stand for and we believe in what we believe in. A lot of niggas focus on trying to be a certain type nigga that they think is cool. We like being who we like being. If y'all think it's cool, that's on y'all. We just being us so. Mm -hmm. And that's just that. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I, those those are the people I really look up to when it comes to the business aspect. Yachty, too, because he really get to a bag besides just the music. Target. He got Target. What else? Nautica. Got Nautica. Creative uh, director over Sprite. there. Sprite. Sprite. You know what I mean? Yeah. Albums, shows, all type of shit. Like, mm -hmm. That's what we trying to get into. And it is deeper than music. We trying to venture to different shit. People got clothing lines and game that we know. You mean people crack graphic designs, all types of different shit, cameramen, pictures and shit like that. We trying to do different stuff. Have you always known yourself to be a hard worker? Yeah, I basically in life really. Mm -hmm. If I want to do something, I'm gonna try my best to do it. If not, then. I mean, we're gonna try something else. <laughs> yeah, the reason I asked that is because uh, with you about to have a kid now, did that ignite some type of fire that make you push yourself even harder now? Yeah, even even with just like going to work and like, you mean, just, just the way I think about stuff, everything coming to me different. Mm -hmm. You mean, it ain't gonna be easy and it, the change don't happen just like that. Mm -hmm. I still got some shit that I got a, a subtract from my life because it's not benefiting me. You mean, I'm doing it because I want to. Not because I need to. Mm -hmm. You mean so shit like that? I need to take all the little unnecessary shit out, all the distractions, all the shit that's not going, that's going to stop me from doing what I need to do. Really, that's where I'm at with it. So right now you're like caught, you're weeding out all the bad. Like you're really trying to, like, yeah, just on. just trying, just trying to do what's best for my situation, mm -hmm. what's best for my family, my relationship, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now in a few years with you, you know, being a family man and then working in the industry. Where do you see yourself um, at, like, you know, in 2020, 2021? Where do you see yourself? I see myself finishing college, mm -hmm. own crib, and I'm trying to take over this music shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to predict where I'm going to be at, but if we moving the way they be moving, and as a unit, and the way everybody thinking right now, mm -hmm. like, just even even with just me had, uh, about to have this baby, like I see the fire and game on some bro. We got you mean it's time to turn up. Like mm -hmm. we not we not little kids no more. We got little we got nieces and nephews and shit. They growing up. We like damn, cause <laughs> we need to get this money. Like ain't no bullshit. We really got good in our shit out this joint. That's the type time we on. Like, but yeah, we gonna be cool though. Right now you really just focus on the mission. Like, you just going on the grind trying to get Yeah, to I'm just doing what I need to do really. That's all. Okay. Now I wanted to ask you too about your taste of music. Um, do you got any old hits that you bang with from like um, from back in the day? And then like you can talk about them, and then talk about how you got some favorites uh, like rappers now. So like, yeah, I listen. I listen to a lot of uh, Jay Z mm -hmm. when I'm when I'm by my lonely. When I'm when I'm with gang or whatever, I listen to what everybody wanna listen to. But when I'm in my bag or the crib or doing whatever I'm doing when I'm by myself, mm -hmm. I listen to a lot of um, Jay Z, a lot of New Edition. Mm -hmm. You mean that's that's really for real. I listen to Andre 3000. I don't really listen to a lot of uh, old rappers. I like I like songs, mm -hmm. but it's not it's not really an old rapper that I fuck with. I, that's all I listen to. Yeah, yeah. I you, know, you like some R&B songs. Yeah, so like, yeah. Cool. I, I shoot to that. I listen mm -hmm. to a lot of everything. Mm -hmm. Really. Well, based off what you said, it, it sounds like you like music with a lot more instruments, like instead of just like just mixing it yeah. together, like a lot yeah. more time and soul into it. Uh huh. Yeah, I like I like actual songs. When right. niggas get on this, just rap, that shit cool. But I like when the dynamic of the song change, and you mean, I listen, I like different type ad-libs and shit yeah. like that. Like the little stuff that make a song perfect. That's what I like. 
you know, cause Hov and uh, and three and Andre three thousand, they they beats was different, you know. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Way different. More and then different. I got I got older brother, older sister, and stuff like that. So I I listen to what they listen to. I got mom, I got dad. I listen to what they listen to, what they came up to. So all that's just in my ear, and that's honestly that's what helped me write how I write. The people that I listen to that help me how I make songs, how I make songs, how I think about beats, how I come at beats, how I come at them, how I take them, how I take them. It's because of the people that I listen to. When you feeling that new edition movie? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Like <laughs> I was. <laughs> At one point, I was watching that joint every day. I'm thinking, man, for no reason. Yeah, yeah. I wake up, put that joint on. I go to sleep, put that joint. I don't know why. I like that joint. <laughs> yeah, that joint cool. I yeah. talked to a couple um, artists. I want to say last year when uh, Straight Outta Compton came out. Did you see that? Yeah. Uh, it, they told me that it inspired a lot of people. Like inspired artists. Like yo, you know what? We can push it, and you know what? We can make some more business moves. That inspire you in a way too. Watch yeah, just just the just the I like I like all them type of movies mm -hmm. like about the uh, people that rapped or whatever or sang. Like I, I seen Prince movie. Mm -hmm. I seen Michael Jackson American Dream joint. I just like seeing what they went through. Mm -hmm. It's everything not easy, everything not cake. So it's it's good to see what they went through. They make their mistakes for you. So when you get in that position, you don't gotta do what they did. You can maneuver a different way. I mean, that's why that's why I be watching them interviews. It's a lot of wisdom. You just gotta pay attention. I mean, it teach you a lot of stuff, so you don't gotta do the same stuff that they did. So you follow closely, so you can try to follow them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what they did mm -hmm. model, model your craft. So let me ask you this: Is there anybody that you model yourself after in any way, like that you see um, that you look up to and like not that not that you want to be like that, right. but that you want to model your craft after? Um, not not that I uh really like. Just sit there and like, uh, like, like you saying like a uh, favorite rapper right, or right. something like that. Nah, not like that. Um, nah, not really. I watch. Well, you can basically say everybody, everybody that's doing, everybody that's successful. I watch what they're doing because they're there for a reason. Right. Like even if I don't like their music or whatever the case is, they're there for a reason. And if you if you find that, you gotta find that in yourself. What what I'm gonna be known for? What I'm gonna stand for, so I don't fall for anything. You mean like what I'm, what I'm gonna be doing out here that make people say, "Oh, I fuck with Bo, he nice." Bro. You mean I like him as an artist? What what I'm gonna do? You mean that's what I look at. But favorite favorite rapper? I don't really know. I, I listen to too many people. I don't really got a favorite. You got a wide variety. Right, yeah, artists. yeah. I don't even got a favorite. Now, what people was ask me the mm -hmm. other time. I don't, I don't know. What advice would you give to that? Um you know, a tenth grader out there that's just now getting started. They got they getting their SoundCloud started up and now know like where to start from here. What advice would you give them? That shit not easy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm give you the rap. There's a point of time where I ain't even want to rap no more. Just off the fact that when I first started, and when you first start, ain't no everybody gonna fuck with you. And then around when when I first started rapping. Like it's a lot of rappers now. Like right. basically, every, of, yeah. everybody yeah. rap. Mm -hmm. Basically, sad to say, but everybody want to be a rapper. When I first started rapping, it wasn't like that. So everybody like, take time you want, cause this nigga want to rap, <laughs> shit like that. But the same niggas is rapping. Right. You feel me? So it, it mean, you just, you just keep doing what you're doing. I don't, I don't really let the pain affect me, but mm -hmm. you just keep doing what you're doing. You gonna get better. And if it's not working out, because some niggas really do be fighting it though. Right. Some niggas really be light, but they, I mean, it's I don't trying. know what to yeah, tell them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I ain't even on no copy, but some niggas really do be ass and you really just can't listen to them. You feel me? But they niggas telling them, yo, you flames, bro, this shit like that. Niggas. Bro, yeah. This is yeah. Niggas. I don't know. Sometimes niggas just be having to give it up. <laughs> I'm going to keep it right. But you can't tell niggas that. That's mm -hmm. what they, you mean? Yeah, I'm or they going to say you hate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How that's hating because I don't like your music. That's true, not everybody can rap. That's the truth. I ain't gonna lie to you, say this yeah. shit, all that. You mean? Yeah. yeah. And to close out, you think you could uh, give us some bars? Like spit a freestyle? No, I ain't, I ain't giving it any bars. <laughs> <No. laughs> and yeah, and this, this, the, this the reason why, though. Mm -hmm. Because niggas just got to tune in. That's true. I, I got I got raps with these. I probably niggas know how I get. I got mm -hmm. raps with these. Mm -hmm. Niggas got to tune in. And that, if you want to hear me rap, tune in, please. Cause you mean me rapping, I don't, it don't matter. I want I want them views to go up. I want y'all to know them songs. I want y'all to hear them songs when them songs start approaching. I want people to pop out. You mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's all I'm saying. So I'm gonna put it like this: Go on Stimper, go get that mixtape. Promote that drum, bro. Yeah, type, about type that in, drum, just man. type in Bravo Williams or Cuffin' Season. It's gonna pop right up. I mean, a lot of mob be the band. That's how we rap. Yeah. Like Clubhouse be the label. Free little BS. I mean, time gonna keep ticking, bro. Keep your head up. 
And that's how we rapping free shizzy from my cousin Dave.